Samantha and I'm here to go over the 24 books I would like to read in 2024. Just to preface this all, all this, I am not going to go into detail about what each book is about because there's 24 books and I'm just looking at my uh, spreadsheet for reference. I don't have the synopsis pulled up for these books. And, quite frankly, I don't think I can stand to hear myself talk for that long, so we will try to see how well I can be easily comprehensible in this video. But, my plan for making these videos, like, going in the future is, what I, like, trying to pick one book from past list and adding it to this TBR. So book one is doing just that. It is Hocus Pocus in the all new sequel uh, by, uh, being released by Disney. I have yet to read this book. No particular reason other than I just haven't gotten around to it. So that is being carried over from last year to this year. Book two is I Am Madam, Madam X by Gioa uh, Di Burdum, probably butchering it. This is another book that has been on and off TBRs all in the past. You may have heard me talk about this. I have a copy of it, actually just behind me, um, that I would like to try to get to and hopefully in the month of January I'll actually get to it, but we will see. Book three the Lamb Nuts by George Hagen. This is a like generational type of novel that I also own and that has also been on past TBRs. Another one that we'll see it actually gets if it gets read or not. Four, Diana Gabaldon's The Outlander book. I or this just starting the series period. I know there's at least five or six of these books now. I've heard good things about them. I do enjoy historical fiction from time to time. Um, this has some time travel mixed in as well, so I'm hoping that I enjoy it as I um, enjoy other historical fictions. Book 5, Legend by Mallory Liu. I received a copy of this book from my friend Alicia with Books and Things with Alicia. And I keep meaning to read this, these books and do a actually a series vlog with them. Eventually I'll get to it, so I'm hoping by putting them on this list I actually get to it. Book 6, The Silver Witch by Paula Braxton. I am a big Paula Braxton fan. Um, if you're new this, to this channel, I've read quite a few of her books, and a couple of her books has been on some would it be book club picks. So I am pretty excited about getting to another one of her books and diving into her worlds again. Seven, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This is a well-known thriller novel that I'm sure everybody is aware of. Next is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I am have only read Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, um, so I'm interested in seeing what her YA um, works are. If I Hopefully I enjoy it as much as I enjoy her um, adult, but that it could be hit or miss for me when it comes to YA stuff lately, so hopefully I, all, I will enjoy it. Next is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I watched the movie quite a few years ago and enjoyed it, so I would like to read the source material and see how they compare. Next is Strange the Dreamer by Lanny Taylor. This is another well-known like booktube darling that I would like to kind of take a swing at. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Which is a, I, honestly, I've heard the title bounded about, like, thrown around from time to time, but I don't really know what all this book is about. Um, I did when I first put it on my, like, want to read list on Goodreads, but it's been a while now since I had done that, and I just don't remember what it's about, so 
I'll be going in blind. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I believe I read one other book by Paula Hawkins and enjoyed her writing, so I would like to give her another try. Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. This is a also a well-known, well-loved series that I just am now getting around to dipping my toes into, so I am hoping that this lives up to the hype for me. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I read, oof, I read one of her books earlier in 2023. I'm blanking on the, the name of it, but I heard so much about this and I'm interested in watching, I believe it's the Hulu adaptation later on as well, because it, um, it's like a contemporary, another contemporary, like, generational type of story. Then we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. But yeah, Mocha agrees. It'd be the first time I would read this one and I heard that this book is a pretty good start to get into her works. Then we have Sourdough by Robin Sloan. Uh, I believe this is more of a like generational contemporary type of novel as well about a woman who inherits a sourdough starter and the stuff that she gets up to to within her life with that. Then we have A Dystopian, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Even though the world is already starting to go down that route, I still would like to read The Dystopian and possibly watch the show as well. The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. I read her um, Splendo Spindle Splintered and A Mirror Mended, is that what it is? The, the Fractured Fable series of hers. I read those two and really enjoyed the works. Um, the way that her writing is really descriptive in this and I've heard, heard good things about this book as well. So I am hoping her writing is like third time's a charm and she becomes a favorite author for me. We have Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. This is a well-known mystery thriller that I'm sure is going to be possibly one of the staples when it comes to mystery thrillers for me. I'm slowly kind of been like dipping in and out of the mystery thriller genre and all have been kind of mid for me. So I'm hoping that this one will kind of like push me over the edge. Now a book that kind of scares me a little bit because of just how hyped up this author is and I had already DNF'd one book by this author before and I'm hoping against all odds that this is will be a winner for me is The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan. I DNF'd Babel just a couple of months ago just could not get into it and I'm hoping that this genre that she's written in will be a better fit for me than Babel was. And then have Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Of course I've read Heartstopper books and I've also read Loveless and really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping to give more of Alice Oseman's works a shot and I'm going to start with Radio Silence. Now to go coincide with hopefully getting to my reread of the this series in, in general um, in preparation for reading this, but I need to read The Ballad of Songbirds and Sinks by Susanna Collins. I have yet to read this one because I'm wanting to reread the Hunger Games series. So my plan is in January to at least read Hunger Games and try to get myself to the point where I can pick up this book. And another big chunker that I am kind of scared to start a little bit is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a chunker and I don't know if I'll actually get to it in the this year or not but I want to get into it because it sounds really good and an epic fantasy. There's dragons. I want to love it.
So I'm fingers crossed, hopefully going to get to it this year. And then last but not least is This Is How You Lose a Time War by Max Gladstone and Emil L. Montara. I'm probably butchering it. So this is time travel uh, romance. A sapphic, I believe it's a sapphic romance too. I've heard good things about it. It's a relatively short novel from what I have heard. So I think I can get through it pretty quickly. And it might be just like one of one of the few that I actually probably will get to this year because I am determined to to read it for at least one readathon. But those are the twenty four books that I want to get to in twenty twenty four. Let me know in the comments below if you read any of these books. If you started a twenty and twenty four and twenty four, let me know what your picks are also in the comments below. Like this video if you like this type of content and subscribe to keep up to date with any new videos that come out within the future. Until then you guys. Bye.